no, no, second lecture of uh, Hope. Uh, there was one lecture and one tutorial. Now this is the second lecture. Over to you, Hope, now. Okay, okay. So, uh, last time we, we state our problem, right? So uh, we want to study the conversion of this function, the so-called we can call it the symbolic gap function. Yeah? So we have a polynomial ring R and uh, we focus on a monomial idea I. And usually I will just set I to be unmixed. This is a more interesting case. And then uh, we take the symbolic power of I and we want to know whether if we take the left of this, then uh, whether this limit exists or not. And uh, actually, uh, there, there is uh, uh, some uh, there are some known results related to this. So, uh, so, for example, in general, we know that if I is any monomial idea, then by using uh, results about the finite general final generation of the symbolic rings algebra. Yeah. This is the symbolic rings algebra and so KB and Chung Fu says this guy is not a real it I is a monomial idea. <clears throat> and then from this you can deduce that uh, this this symbolic left function yeah. This I call the symbolic gap function of I. And this is eventually periodic. Uh, but this case is different from the one you already explained, uh, result of Professor Chong, uh, the limiting case. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so this is in general. Yeah, the num general number of bipartite idea. components one. Uh, the, the, the one about. Uh, the number uh, of bipartite components. Yeah, that is for, for S idea and for ordinary power. Yeah? And this is for symbolic. For ordinary power. For, oh, okay. Yes. And okay, and if more of uh, I is square free. monomial idea, then actually this symbolic left function is conversion. Yeah. And it is due to Hoa, Kimura, Erai, and Chennam too. So uh, actually what we will uh, we do uh, today is that we show that in general this limit uh, need not exist so it can the symbolic left function can be really periodic yeah? and uh, what is uh, uh, the easiest example so uh, you can easily show that if uh, if the left function symbolic depth function is zero at some point, yeah? then it would be always zero. Yeah? If, if I is, yes, is unmixed. And uh, yes, and this depth is zero for some t's and it, this, this can only happen if I is uh, M primary. Yeah? So the dimension of I, 
uh, mod i is already zero. And so this, uh, and this is equivalent to the depth. So symbolic depth function is identically zero. And so the, the case that we should consider is the depth symbolic depth function with value at least one, right? So positive depth symbolic depth function. This is the most interesting case. And if you want to be uh, uh, this symbolic depth function to be eventually periodic, then at least uh, you should have uh, some value at least two somewhere, right? If, if it is all, only one, then it is, of course, it is convergent. So this will be uh, uh, what we are interested in. So uh, when can you say that? Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, hope, uh, can you go a little bit upstairs, uh, upside? Uh, yeah, we're done. So, uh, so regarding to the restring, uh, the result of uh, Herzog, Hibby, and Chung, uh, this is regarding to the restring, or this is regarding to R when you are defining the symbolic depth? Uh, the, the, rest, the symbolic restring is for the symbolic restring. R ah, is always a polynomial ring, and it is always not there. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, so the, the result is for, uh, okay, the definition of symbolic depth function is for RS or is for R? Uh, it is simply this function, the function mapping T to the depth of uh, R modulo I uh, to the T symbolic power, that is called the symbolic depth function. So it's, uh, it maps some positive integer to some uh, so what is the role of symbolic race algebra? The symbolic race algebra is, is this ring. Yeah? It is a ring. Yeah, the symbolic depth function is a numerical function. Yeah? Uh, so this is only depth of R over I symbolic T or just, I was just, uh, just want uh, to confirm. Or R S quotient with this, IT. Okay, so I mean, uh, we are looking at this function here. Yeah? Mapping some positive number to the depth of the T symbolic power of pi. And this is called the symbolic depth function of pi. Yeah? It, is, ah, okay. it is a numerical okay. function. Okay, thank you. You just gave the definition of symbolic Reese algebra just. For yes. the defining term. Yeah, okay. Uh, and uh, so this result tells you that this symbolic depth function is eventually periodic. Yes. I, so, I was just, uh, I guess, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, yes, so uh, in order to find a, a, a really periodic that function, then uh, we are interested in the question, when is the depth of some symbolic power, at least two, right? And uh, that is uh, what we are we are doing now. So we will discuss uh, uh, in general, a uh, combinatorial Excuse me, Professor, I have a question. Yes. Uh, so you said this symbolic depth function is periodic, right? So eventually periodic or a monomial yeah. idea. Yeah. Okay, so so can you like give us a, a comment on what has caused periodicity in this function? I mean, just mm -hmm. uh, maybe. Yeah, it's, it comes from the from the notarian nitty of the least symbolic Greece and So it is. It is more or less uh, similar to the case of ordinary power. In the case of ordinary power, you have. Uh... Okay, just one okay. minute. In the case of the ordinary power, yeah, you have the Ries algebra. So just take the usual power, and from this ring, it is the Ries algebra. And in the A of 
symbolic color. You have the symbolic green sandpaper, very similar, but uh, uh, the rendered components are given by the symbolic power. Okay. So that they are, they are, they look similar, but they are very different. So this guy is always notarian and standard vector. Notarian and standard vector meaning that it is generated in degree one over R. Um, but this guy is in the in general, neither notarian. And no standard vector. So we can, you may need a generator at a different degree, degree one, two, and so on. So in the case of monomial idea, yeah, then you get notarian Nikki. And so, uh, so this gives you the the uh, this gives you the outcome that the symbolic map function is uh, eventually periodic. Uh, basically, uh, the, the same argument. So we use that uh, because the base answer is not Terrian. The map function is always eventually periodic, but uh, also the but. Here we have the standard credit condition, and the standard credit condition tells you that the, the it is not only eventually periodic, but periodic of period one, and and of course periodic of period one, meaning that uh, it is eventually constant. Right. But uh, here the per, the period can be can be lesser than one, and that's why we have a periodic periodic city. And uh, but but what is uh, usually uh, uh, the relation between the depth of R I T and the symbolic power of T, uh, which which is greater or less in general? Uh, this one and this one. Yeah. Uh, Are, is there any relation between these two? Inequality or? Yeah, in general, no relation. In general, no relation. Uh, was it studied yes. before or not? Uh, or particular classes of ideals? Yeah, I mean, uh, usually they, uh, people do not com compare between the uh, map of ordinary and symbolic powers. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know. Uh, yeah. but it's, uh, yeah. okay. They are completely independent? So incomparable. Uh, there, there, there is some relation, but uh, yes, this is difficult to tell. Okay, so. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm, I didn't, I didn't get the answer. Uh, what did you say? I'm sorry. So there's, uh, I would say there is no relation in general. Or uh, you you have uh you can try you give it a try yeah it is yeah okay it is a good question yes thank you mm -hmm. so uh coming back to uh, to our uh, lecture today uh, we win a bit of combinatorial condition considering that uh, in terms of the degree complex. Uh, for an unmixed monomial idea. Uh, such that it has left at least two. Okay, so, uh, but uh, for that, uh, we, win, uh, we win keep condition in terms of the degree complex. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, so uh, we call from that from last time that uh, for this you have the notion of the uh, negative support. Yeah. Yeah. A here is A here is and that uh, in RB, right? And in Z to Z, sorry. And uh, so this, so the faces of this, uh, of this form, yeah, F subtract to VA, where F is a subset of B containing VA such that uh, X to the power A is not contained in I localize at F. And uh, last time I tell you that it is very easy to prove that. Uh, so for I, for A equal to zero, I denote delta A by delta I. Yeah? So this is by definition delta zero of I, where A is a zero vector. And in this case, you can, uh, so that's this is, uh, uh, the radical of I is exactly the standard rational, rational idea of this guy. Yeah? So, the, so as it is for F containing B such as a product of everything you have, it's not contained in the radical of I. So the radical of I is a square free idea. And uh, so this you can check this is uh, the Stanley Reisner idea. Of delta of I. Yeah. And moreover, you can prove also easily that for all A in Z to the D. And uh, if you have that F minus Z of A is a phase of delta I, then uh, F actually is a phase of delta I without A. So now our goal now is to describe uh, completely uh, this this complex when I is uh, is unmixed. Yeah? And for that, we will describe the facet. Of this complex, uh, when I is to make. So, uh, Maybe uh, it is uh, useful to to recall a few things and and do a few relevant things first. So uh, first uh, we remark this is this is not so difficult, but uh, it is useful to recall this. If delta is a simply so complex. And then uh, you can compute the uh, minus one reduced simply so homology. And this guy will be zero if and only if uh, delta is not, is not this complex, the complex with only one phase, which is uh, the empty set. And uh, the degree zero, zero homology is uh, vanish if and only if delta is connected. Yeah. So meaning every every two vertices of delta is connected by a sequence of one phases. Yeah. So for example, this this is a this is a disconnected. Uh, this is disconnected. Yeah. The a complex with 
two two facets like this. So I I I I will usually write only the the facets, so the maximum phase of a CP so complex. Yeah. So CP so complex with these facets is disconnected. Why this one, for example, is connected. Uh, okay, so I have some notation. So, uh, assuming that you have an, an idea J in a polynomial ring S, I use another, another ring different other than uh, than R, and let N be the this is this notation for the greatest maximum idea of S. Yeah? So it is generated by Y1 up to Ye. Then uh, this, by definition, this, this is the, the saturation of J. Yeah? So the union of column of J to powers of the, the maximum, greatest maximum idea. And uh, why is this guy relevant? Because if you compute uh, the zero holopo homology, yeah, so by definition, this is everything in S mod J, which is keen by some power of N. Yeah? And so if you compute it, then it is actually this quotient yeah? saturation of J over J. And so this is, you see, this is, uh, this is relevant to our discussion of, of that. So when that of this guy is, so that zero will mean that uh, this is different from, saturation is, of that is different from that. Uh, uh, what do you mean by H zero N? Uh, you mean cohomology? Or something local H homology. Yes. So uh, it is just this you can define directly. Yeah? So everything uh, in S most J is that, that it is keen by some power of N. It is the zero to local homology. Of S mostly we support at N. So uh, okay, so you can prove the following. Uh, now F is a subset of D. Uh, this is a criterion. Uh, for uh, when delta the degree complex of when yeah, the degree so the, complex so the, so the depth is zero if and only if the saturation of the ideal will be, j will become a saturated ideal right uh, you write inequality there different depth zero meaning the saturation is different from j So that zero meaning that so the zero local homology is non zero. Uh, uh, sorry, say it again. So that uh, that equal to zero uh, mean uh, uh, recall that that is the minimal point where you have non non zero local homology. Yeah? So that zero meaning that's a yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, okay. We are interested in non zero. Okay, 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 okay. Now I okay. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, so, this, this is a set 
and uh, we are looking at the polynomial ring with variable not in F. Yeah? And we look at uh, the localization of I at F and pull back to, to S. Yeah? So this this you this is a this is a monomial idea in S, and you obtain by uh, replacing all the variable in F by one. Yeah? Then from I you get uh, another monomial idea J like this. And now let A in Z to the D be any vector such that the negative support of it is exactly F. And uh, I also denote by A plus the vector with the component components like this. So max of A10 to max of AD0. So if a component of A is negative, then if you replace it simply by zero. And if that component is positive, then you fix it. Yeah. So this is a vector in N to the D. Yeah and it's a set of non-negative integers. So uh, the crit we have this criteria. Yeah? So delta i of i is, is this complex? If and only with x a plus is belong to the saturation of z minus z. So uh, from this in particular, we have that of S not J is positive. If and only if for all A in Z to the D, uh, such that the negative support is F, we have that the degree complex of A is different from this complex. Okay, so uh, using this, you can, uh, this takes some time to, to write out, but uh, the proof is not difficult. And so uh, I will just mention some, some consequences of this. So uh, as the, So for example, a consequence of this is, is the following. It's a condition for, uh, for the vanishing of the first local cohomology. Yeah? So the following are equivalent. We are interested in, in uh, Depth at least two, yeah. Depth at least two. So we are, if depth is at least two, then the first local cohomology will be zero, right? So that's why we are interested in this condition. And this is equivalent to uh, to the following condition, yeah. So uh, maybe here I write a notation here. Z is the RJ, yeah, where J is from one to D. It is a polynomial ring in uh, in variety for different from xj yeah? and ij. It simply i you localize at uh, xj, yeah? and then you uh, intersect back to this smaller polynomial ring. Yeah? So, in other words, ij is the idea you obtain from i by replacing x, xj by one. Yeah? Then you get ij. And uh, this is equivalent to the following. Uh, the first local formula z is zero if and only if for every j from one to d. Uh, the ij has positive depth.
and uh, for all vector with uh, non negative components, the degree complex is uh, connected. Can you shed light on this IJ more? Uh, how? Uh, what was the purpose of uh, what, how it differed from uh, the? Okay. Okay. So, uh, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, as as I said, IJ yeah, is the idea you get by. Uh, So assuming that your uh, I is generated by the generator M1 up to MQ, for example, and then IJ is the idea you get by uh, mapping M HMI to uh, to MI prime, yeah, where you uh, the rule is to replace xi if any yeah, if some power of xi is is uh, 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 is there in mi then you replace j by one yeah. one so for example if you have this uh, this idea from the last half right Uh, then I1 would be the idea you get by uh, replacing x by 1. Yeah? So it is this is the whole ring. Right? I2 is the idea you get by uh, replacing y by 1. Yeah? So you see x cubed uh, z times z yeah? and so on. When we take the intersection with, yeah, yes. uh, I R X J. Oh, and so this is the direct way of computing I J, right? Yes. Ah, yeah, okay. it is. It is the same as first. Uh, this you can think of as the idea obtained by uh, inverting X J. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but then you you, work, you you stay in the polynomial ring. You don't stay in the localized polynomial ring, but you just stay in the polynomial ring. Okay. Smaller polynomial ring. Yeah. And you get uh, this, this monomial. Uh, this example helps. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. So, uh, so to prove, to prove this proposition, you only need to uh, to to dig in the the local cohomology. So, for example, why do you have this condition? Yeah, because if you have uh, that this is equal to zero, right? Then for every a in N D, so uh, I I do not need a proof for this, but I I explain you uh, roughly the proof, the easy proof. Yeah. Then of course you should have that it is zero in this degree, yeah. But by Takayama, yeah. Now A has no uh, no negative good force, so this is one minus zero minus one, right? Because G of A is the empty set, delta A I A, right? So that is it. H tilde of zero of delta a k. So this is zero, meaning that uh, delta a is connected, right? So that's why you have this condition here. And for this condition, the reason is, uh, for example, you, you take a in z to the d such that this a about we have a with no negative component, right? Now we look at a with one uh, negative component. Let's say g of a equal to to, to z. Yeah. So then what what happens? So 
you also have this vanishing in in a now ga has one uh, one component so this is one minus one minus one right so this is uh s tilde minus one of delta a i of k and uh we we we, we said about uh, what it means to s s minus one to uh, to vanish right s minus must one is vanish if and only if so this is if and only if delta a of i is different from from this complex complex with only the empty phase yeah? okay so uh so we so uh we want to have that for every a in B D such that uh, the negative support is they we have delta a i is not the empty complex like this and so uh, from from this very lemma yeah, this very lemma with f equal to j yeah, f equal to this one point set then uh, you see that it is exactly s here is exactly as j yeah? this s if f is j then s here is exactly as j and this j here is exactly i localized at j yeah? so that lemma tells you that as it is you want if you want this for every a yeah? with sub negative support being j then it is equivalent to that uh, as a modulo i j is positive yeah so and uh so, and the other the other uh, vector you might have is that uh the, the vector with at least two negative components yeah but it is easy yeah? in this case you can check that uh, again by uh Takayama one minus G i minus one and a i and but uh, z is smaller or equal to minus two so z is always zero for every complex right so that's why in this condition you only need these two conditions so uh okay so finally i can uh, state the condition for for that at least two for unmixed monomial ID. Yeah. And then the following are equivalent. So the depth of R mod I is at least two. It is equivalent to uh, first depth of R mod I is positive. And uh, so this, we know that we, you can check uh, by looking at the uh, associated prime, right? Uh, the maximum idea should not belong to the associated prime. So secondly, all the localization of i at, at one vertex has positive depth. So rj and ij is as in the previous reason. And finally, uh, for all non-negative vector in r and to the d, this degree complex is connected. Okay. Um, and, uh, just, uh... and this is very easy because, uh, so for example, if you have these three conditions, then the first condition tell you that the, the zero local cohomology of R mod I is zero. Yeah? And the, 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 these two conditions tell you that the first local cohomology of R mod I is zero. And so the that must be at least two, right? Because it's yes, the first number missing 
of the local homology is two, not not zero or one. Uh, uh, hope, uh, but what is the role of uh, unmixedness here? Uh, so basically, this result is uh, derived from uh, the Takayama. Uh, and the above yeah. explanation. So, what is the role yeah, of actually, unmixedness? Actually, actually, you, you don't need unmix here. Yeah, uh, I just if you want, you can you can erase it. Yeah? In, in this in this reason, I don't really need unmix. Uh, so, uh, apart uh, apart from this result, uh, uh, does unmixedness up imply something in this particular construction of the depth computing? Mm, most of the cases in all your explanation. Yes. So this uh, there's a result that I need unmixed, but I will I will state it now. Yeah. So he, here is a result that I will need unmixed. So in this result, we can completely describe the facet of the degree complex yeah, for every vector. This is a vector, yeah. Uh, then uh, okay, the facet. This is the notion, the notation for the facet. The facet of uh, of the degree complex is every set of this type. Where uh, f f is a facet of delta delta i delta i we know yeah f containing g a and uh, such that x to the a plus does not belong to i f. Uh, okay, so I explain this. So you know, uh, if f uh, if f is a face is a facet of delta of i, then uh, this is equivalent to uh, if we take all the variables not in not in f. This I did not by PF. This is an associated prime of I. And so uh, IF will be the uh, IF in, in the end, it is I localized at F and uh, pull back to R. And this is exactly the but it is somehow easier to com compute uh, than this localization because it is exactly the the primary component. Associated to PF. In, in the primary decomposition of I, yeah. So, uh, so this is how you can uh, can apply all the facet of delta delta a. Yeah. So maybe uh, um, it is uh, easier to yeah. IF is the primary component of uh, PF is a, a primary component of uh, IF. You mean PF is an associated prime. Uh, associated prime of, of i and then i f is a primary component of p f you mean what do, what do you mean by that no right from primary component of i yeah. ah okay no so you know this is an i as this is an associated prime of i yeah and I is unmixed, so it has a unique primary component whose radical is PF, and that primary component I call it IF. Interesting. Thank you. 
so uh, this this implies the following so again i is unmixed yeah Uh, a now is just a non-negative vector. Uh, so in this case, the uh, negative support of A is empty. And so you see that the so facet of delta A of I is exactly the facet of delta I. And uh, okay, if A plus, a is non-negative vector, so A plus equal to A. So you see here you have only the condition that X of A does not belong to the uh, primary component of I corresponding to F okay? or corresponding to P of F. Maybe I give an example here for, for this formula. So we, again, we take this monomial idea. Uh, so, uh, so you can ask, for example, uh, this is a question that we addressed in last time. Uh, when is this uh, local homology non non zero, right? Okay, in this case, uh, yeah. A is now a non-negative vector in our form. Yeah. So if you use this formula, then you see that. Uh, okay. First, we need to compute this complex, and uh, it is obtained from this radical of i, right? It has this primary decomposition, and so you see that the facet of delta of i. Uh, 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 so the, this one, you have the process VT. Yeah? This one gives you the process. So you take the complement, then you get the process YT. And finally, the last one gives you the process uh, YZ. Yeah? So yes, so this, this formula, for example, tell you that the facet of delta A of I is everything belong to this? Yeah. F is in this set such that x to the a does not belong to i f. Yeah. So you, you can take some vector, for example, a is equal to uh, I don't know two zero one one, for example. Yeah. And then you can easily compute this, right? Because uh, yeah. Uh, so, for you can compute, for example, I of this. What is I of this? Right, the primary component of uh, of f for f equal to zt. Yeah, the primary component of this guy is e to the cube y. Right, because you have this primary decomposition for I. So this is mean the, the primary component. primary component in the original idea, not in the radical, right? Yeah, yeah, in, in the original idea. Yeah. So this is this is a primary com component in the original idea I, yeah. And similarly, I of uh, Y T is Q Z and I of Y D is Q T. Right? So uh Given a vector like this, you can e easily compute. Yeah? For example, x to the a in this case is x square uh, zt, right? So you see x square zt uh, does not belong to i of zt, right? Which is x cubed of i. So this tells you, for example, that uh, the, this, this is a facet of of delta of i, yeah? Of delta a of i. And similarly, uh, you see that this belongs to this. So it tells you that uh, 
z is not a facet yeah y t and also y z these are both not facets of the entire area of time and so we see that in this case the facet of the entire area of i you easily get that it is only this z t so with with this formula uh, in, in this colorado you can easily compute uh, the facet of, of these complexes for non-negative vector and for arbitrary vector you can use this this formula here so, so the difference here is that the if here are uh, a monomial id right why the I R F here are uh, not monomy idea. Yeah? It's idea in some localized localized ring. Yeah? Again, uh, again, the question is the same regarding to what is the role of unmixedness. Uh, okay, in in the computing example, it seems to be that can be true for any case. Probably, I'm thinking a little bit more louder on it. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, I, I don't have a time to to. To present the proof here, but uh, in in the proof of this proposition, uh, at one point you you this unmixed, yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in I, the computer, uh, in the example of the computing example, uh, seemingly that, yeah, probably the example is showing that uh, it can be done for any case. Uh, yes. Uh, so the the moral the moral of everything here is that. Uh, you can do everything for for mixed monomial idea, yeah. But uh, uh, you know the most interesting ideas are prime idea and radical idea and primary idea, and those are unmixed. So uh, of course, uh, uh, you you want you want example unmixed example because that, that's a nice idea. Yeah, yeah, definitely the structure is nice with when it is mixed. I would like to see the. Uh, is there probably uh, is there any counter example where we relax a condition of uh, mixedness, and uh, there does not exist such a case? Uh, that would be an interesting case to look at. Any counter example? I'm sorry, uh, probably this is too quick to produce any. Discrete closing. Discrete closing. Pause. Sorry, I would connect it. Yeah, yeah. I hope uh, uh, probably you would like to conclude the things now. I'm... Yes, yes. Yeah. Sorry. Uh... I will try to finish in five minutes. Yeah. Uh, anyways, this, this happens. We understand. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, I share my screen again. So, uh, so uh, we have. Uh, oh, what what we did was was this. So we need a criterion for combinatorial criterion for nepotist two. Yeah. So the the point of this result is that uh, the one and the first and the second condition you can check easily from the primary decomposition of the idea. You can read easily whether the depth is positive or not. And the third condition. Uh, the connectedness of this degree complex, yeah, you, you more or less can also can uh, can do by combinatorics because you know what are the facets of delta delta 
then the eye of eyes, yeah. From, from this, you know, deeply the, the facet of delta I of I, so you can tell when it is connected or not, right? And so using that, we have this, uh, this theorem that uh, give a class of symbolic net function with values only one or two, yeah? So uh, now I work only with polynomial ring in five variables. And I uh, let M be Q be primary monomial idea. Uh, such that radical of M is X, Y, Z. Radical of P is X, X, Y. And radical of V of Q is Z. Yeah? And then I look at this and mix monomial idea. M intersect with G U intersect with Q V. Yeah. Q plus this mean E plus E when this mean Q plus V. So uh, then the symbolic depth of I is only one or two. Yeah. And secondly, the symbolic depth of the P symbolic power is two. If and only if you have uh, this relation between uh, M, P, and Q, yeah? So you only need to take this uh, condition and then you, you know whether that is uh, one or two. Yeah? And uh, in particular, so uh, this, this gives you the following example. Uh, that uh, for you choose m to be x square, y square, z square, power two, p to be x cube, y cube, and q to be z, yeah? And then you take i as double, and intersect with p, u, intersect with q, v. Then uh, you have a really a periodic that function with a period, period two, this will be one if n is odd, and two if n is even. So, uh, so that's it. Uh, so we, so that means that uh, the symbolic that function of I is, is really periodic, right? Generally periodic. Yes, so, uh, so uh, uh, finally, uh, just a comment about this theorem, yeah? So to, to prove this theorem, uh, part one is very easy. You, you know uh, the primary decomposition of I, so you don't know the primary decomposition of the symbolic power of I, right? And so from this decomposition, you also know that the symbolic power has dimension two. So the depth cannot be bigger than two. And the depth is positive because M is not in the in the associated prime, right? So this first one is easy. And the second one, you use the above criterion for, for monomial idea with depth at least two. In, in fact, for, for for IT, yeah, for our idea IT, you can check easily that the first two conditions have satisfied trivially. So the only relevant condition is the third condition on the connectedness of the degree complex, and that you can translate to, to this condition. Because in this case, you know also precisely what are the, the facet of, uh, of this complex. Yeah, it has only three facets, yeah, so it is very easy to discuss when is the the degree complex of delta of the symbolic power with respect to some vector is connected or not. Yeah. Okay, so uh, 
Yes, so I have in my lecture today. Thank you very much. Uh, hope, uh, thank you very much for your lectures. And uh, uh, this final theorem uh, by whom? Yes, so this is due to uh, me and uh, move it to. And it, it was published in 2019. Also, this example. Yeah. Actually, we we first discussed this when I uh, more or less mm, right before the first time I go to La or I went to La. Yes. So, it, it, in 2018. And, yes. and uh, yes. what are the potential potential questions in this direction now? Uh, yes, so uh, I, I was also uh, preparing for that, and uh, there are many other questions that you can consider. For, for example, a very uh, interesting question is about regularity, and uh, so the question is whether the regularity of the symbolic power is always linearly bounded. So, uh, almost nothing is known on this question. In the case of monomial idea, unfortunately, is easy. Yeah? But uh, for non monomial idea, we we don't even have about at all for the regularity of the symbolic powers. Uh, uh, more related, uh, more relevant uh, to to that is the question whether this function. Can be uh, not eventually periodic. This, is, this I think is also very interesting. We we do not have any any example, and uh, the problem is that uh, our techniques here are uh, only for monomial ideas, and for this, you know, you, you have to work with non monomial ideas. Yes, we don't have. We do not have too many techniques to do that. So there are many other questions on symbolic powers. People are still looking at these questions. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for a wonderful series of lectures on uh, very, very interesting results. And uh, definitely, uh, Professor Chung is the king of uh, this theory, somehow symbolic powers and when it comes to the regularity and depth computing. And these results are very, very interesting. Uh, uh, and thank you very much for your elaborations. Uh, I'm sorry, I <laughs> time to time I uh, poke you many times in your lecture, but uh, no, no, literally okay. speaking, every time you come up with a, a very clear explanation on the things, uh, that's really, really remarkable. And uh, we wish to have you here, uh, but uh, uh, maybe in near future. Thank yeah, you, Hope. I, uh, yeah, I hope uh, we can meet in person soon, yes. And uh, uh, I request, I request all the participants to applaud for Professor. <laughs> Definitely, it's really hard to uh, be as expressive as possible through online, and you did a remarkable job. I really appreciate. It. Thank you from all uh, all the participants, and we wish you. Uh, Okay, I will wish that uh, Vietnam will revive the situation in of the COVID will, uh, Vietnam will recover from the present situation very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.